Welcome back, Wildcats. I'm Owen Thal. And I'm Chase Gottschalk. And you're watching WCAT Middle School News. We're super excited to have some visitors on campus in the coming weeks. Eighth grade exchange students from France are being hosted by our Wildcats. The students will arrive on April 17th and spend a few weeks exploring Atlanta. I caught up with Mr. Oyos to find out more. So a reminder that we will have two big groups coming, one for, from France uh, with 12 students and one from Spain with 15 students. Their schedule is going to be um, shadowing the host student, the student that is hosting them during their stay here, as well as some field trips. So they'll go around the city uh, to see places like the National Center for Civil and Human Rights, MLK Center, uh, World of Coke, um, Atlanta uh, History Center. So they have a lot of uh, field trips as well as classes um, shadowing with, you know, with host student. Also, our global ambassadors may be engaged as well, um, where there's fit any scheduled conflicts, um, such as the host student is taking a quiz or a test. Um, therefore, you know, that exchange student will go with a global ambassador. Um, how to be an inclusive community, right? So we want to make sure that you know, we greet them when we, when we see them in the hallway, so we acknowledge their presence. We, you know, you know, we show interest in, in getting to know them, right? Introduce, introducing ourselves, saying good morning, uh, good afternoon, uh, making sure that, uh, you know, uh, in Malone, right, you're in lunch, uh, you know, you approach them and, and say if they need anything. So everything is new to them. It's a huge building, right? Um, it's almost like a labyrinth. Even, even as, as an eighth grader, right? Uh, but uh, just looking at moving from class to class and helping them around and just being present, right? Thanks, Chase. Let's be sure to give the students a warm Wildcat welcome. Speaking of upcoming events, the illustrator and author Jerry Kraft will visit Westminster on April 17th. Some of his well-known books include New Kid, Class Act, and School Trip, which are all number one New York Times bestsellers and have won the Newbery Awards. Armand has more on the topic. Thanks, Chase. I interviewed Miss Madison and Miss Thomas to learn more about Mr. Aiden's visit. I really enjoyed the March series, so I'm looking forward to hearing about how it came about. Um, it's such an interesting way to tell that story through graphic novels. Um, I read all three March volumes, and I've read the newest one, which is Run. Um, all of those are, are John Lewis's story. I haven't read any of his books outside of those, but um, March and Run are really good. I have read March, which I have right here. Um, I read this last year, actually in preparation for hopefully teaching it in seventh grade. We unfortunately didn't have the time and they, they took it in seventh grade history, uh, but I have read the first book of his March series and uh, loved it thoroughly. Both just as an English teacher and just thinking what it teaches us about language and literature, but also as a person who, who loves and respects history and what we can gain from it as well. I'll be honest, when I first uh, was thinking about this, it was like, what, is this a comic book? Like, what are we doing? And at the same time, like, as, as we all know that you can judge uh, uh, something by its cover far too soon and make assumptions, um, I think graphic novels are extraordinary in what they can bring us um, in looking at images deeply and looking at the choices that the author can make um, about, about color, about word size, the emotion that it can evoke in different ways than just words. So I think graphic novels are, are very deserving of our respect and attention and I think they can bring to life the story in, in a far deeper way uh, than we can perhaps get with words. Thanks, Ms. Thomas. I'm really looking forward to meeting Mr. Aiden. Thanks, Armand, and thanks so much to Jerry Kraft for taking the time to speak with us. As we approach the end of the year, Wildcats are really excited to experience May ATL. Similar to Jan term, May ATL gives students the opportunity to learn about and explore interests that aren't covered in the traditional school setting during the last two weeks of school. What May ATL are you enrolled in, Chase? I'm doing Technocats. How about you? I'm doing Woodstock. Let's hear what Izzy and Anne have to say about this year's May ATL courses. Thanks guys. Next we interviewed from some teachers and students about their May ATLs this year. I 
doing Fashion Revolution, which is about sustainable fashion. So we learn about the effects of fast fashion. And then everyone makes their own outfit. We go to a thrift store and they pick out uh, clothes and then they upcycle it in a new way. Uh, and I'm really excited about seeing what everybody creates and um, visiting the different stores um, and companies that are have better business practices um, that kind of support sustainable fashion. Uh, my May Teal is Comedy Cats. I'm doing it with Mrs. McMillan. And the thing we're most excited about, I think, is our field trips. So um, this is all about improv, and this class is actually going to go to a workshop at Dad's Garage and also at Whole World Theater. And we also have a professional comedian coming in, Sam Gordon, and she's going to be giving us a workshop. So that's what I'm most excited about. I'm doing tour at TL. I'm really excited about like going to restaurants and really exploring more of Atlanta. Thank you all teachers and students, and we hope you have a great exam week in May at TL. Thanks, Izzy and Ann. We hope everyone enjoys their May ATL course. Well, that is all we have for today, and this concludes our 2022-2023 middle school year news coverage. We hope everyone has a great summer, and we will see you next year. Until then, I'm Chase Godstrock. And I'm Owen Dong. And you're watching WCAT Middle School News.